Yeah. My voice wasn't recording, so I'm gonna have to start over again. I I went a couple of minutes to talk about it and guys I finally got gun and warfare two months to work again. Look at this. Okay, let me just drag this a bit more closer so you can hear me. Gun and warfare two mods is working for the latest for the easy anti-cheat update of Gun and Warfare 2. How did you do in your glory? Uh, I'm a bit rushed on the explanation, so I, just because I don't want to waste time explaining again, because I already did. Basically, what I did wrong all of this time, when before and right now, while I was struggling a lot um, to make the mods work again, because my game would stay I'm not launched. The mods would not apply with Frosty Mod Launcher. It would keep crashing, getting unhandled errors. It's because I didn't have the pvc 2 CDK latest update downloaded from uh, from the Discord uh, community server. But why, anybody? Why did you forget about it? And here's the thing: I already knew about this, which is why I did this for the old version of Frosty Mod Manager. The, however, the old version of Frosty Mod Manager doesn't really work with uh, with Garden Warfare too, because I tried it. Or actually, I think it does work, but. I still need the latest version of Frosty Mod Manager for the latest version mods. And even so, right now I I had to remove some of the mods that pretty much aren't working at all for the anti-cheat version. I mean, I just had to because otherwise I'd not be able to launch the game. It kept crashing. And guys, I finally am relieved to announce that we finally found a solution to this. And it looks as though we can finally use mods again. Oh, she's um, very fun dead. Of course, the trainer, however, for the anti cheat version does not work. Like I said before in the video that, unfortunately, I didn't record the voice on. Um, I'm like really tired because I wasted several, I wasted actually just one day, but a full day on this and I kept being desperate on how am I supposed to do it, what am I supposed to do. I looked everywhere, I didn't get what I was missing on. And when today I finally figured out that it was just the fact that I didn't um, replace that one outdated file from the Frosty Mod Manager folder. As soon as I did this, the issue was fixed and I was finally able to run Gun Warfare 2 mods. Gun Warfare with mods again. Not Garden Warfare 2. Sorry for my explanation being a bit bad. I'm, I've, I've already explained and I'm, I'm rushing the explanation a bit. It turns out we're not only reduced to death for plants and zombies after all anymore, fellas. It turns out Garden Warfare 2 mods, there is finally hope for the series. Even when it was like destroyed by this update. To top it all off, there is a way to revert to the old version of uh, Garden Warfare 2. Yes, indeed. And I pretty much already figured out how we should do it. I'll just have to do it next time. Because uh, right now I just... I want to take a, play, a bit of my time to play like this. Because I'm finally glad I managed to make it work. And with lots of mods included as well. But of course I only have to use the mods that still work for this game. The mods that don't work cannot be used. Obviously. Right. Well, you have no idea what I went through in order to make this happen at long last. I also have to go to the Discord community to chat a bit with the other people. I mean, I struggled to get along with them a bit because I, I don't think they quite understood my problem and they were like really confused as to why I was there. But yeah, they, they didn't quite help much. I mostly had to figure out stuff on my own. But still, I gotta finally say that I did it, guys. I managed to mod kind of Warfare 2 again. Despite the fact that it was ruined by the easy anti cheat. And remember the video I did last time on this, where I was like, it's all lost, there is nothing else we can do anymore. And it turns out it's not all lost. Sorry, but I was like determined to come back on this again because I know there had to have been something that I can be doing about it. Never would have thought that the step I skipped was just such a simple step. But when you are so desperate to make it all work, you tend to like miss out on some steps. 
and then it's all over. I couldn't figure out for the life of me that I was missing out on that step. Uh, this laser beam is gonna be absolutely impossible to take on. Uchi without the trainer. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, I'm literally playing as a plant on the zombie team. So this is proof as to the mods working right now. Uh, I'm gonna show you what mods I've used right now in a second. Some of the mods did not work, some of the mods did work. I had to launch the game a couple of times when we applied the mods just to uh, just to see which mods don't work. And now I've applied only the mods that work, obviously. The private play remastered. Uh, actually, I think that one works. I got that one to work as well, yes. Alright, now we're talking. I had to do the latest version of the one as well, but... It did work. Oh. Alright, you know what? I still have ability spam on because the ability sandbox mod actually still works. But it's a relief that it works because I can actually spam infinite abilities right now. Which is what I need. Kill this stupid laser beam, yes! I'm so happy to be back on this, guys. I can finally fight together with plants and zombies and zombies and plants. It's just perfect. It's, it's finally happening. The dream team. Coming along once again. Now that I finally managed to make this work. Yeah, it's safe to say that. I believe I'm continuing this series. With all honestly. Guys. I never wanted this series to come to an end. I always mourned that we couldn't just keep on going. For days straight. But all of that is over. Ghana Warfare 2's mods must continue. This flawless series that we were, I was working on for so much time. Got so many amazing videos out of. This has to continue. And it will continue right now. That I managed to make it work. There is no more escape, fellas. Ghana Warfare... Wait, what? <laughs> um, enough of the hopelessness. Ghana Warfare 2 series will continue and there will be more videos made on this now more than ever that i managed to finally make this work i've regretted this enough i want to continue this season i want to keep on doing something it i feel like it's still gonna require me to revert back to an old version oh, as soon as i can figure out how that's supposed to be done and i don't mess anything else up that leads to total desperation well it should be all fine I have no idea. I have to despair so much by now. Like, seriously, I'm sick and tired of despairing. Ah, oh, god damn it, I need HP. Oh no, help me. Good thing we have Dr. Heels. <laughs> Literally, Dr. Heels give me HP in the plant. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick break over here inside the base. I think I, th I, I talked properly about all that needs to be talked about. If I didn't skip anything, well, there would be more things that I would like to talk, but I have to recall. Okay, I lost Frosty Fix. I launched Frosty Fix twice. I didn't mean to do that. I guess I can close it right now. Cause... Oh, by the way, mods will not load through Frosty Mod Manager. Let me tell you, because this step was never, ever explained right on YouTube. Or oh, for the life of me, those tutorials are useless. The people in the tutorials have explained this step so badly. Let me explain to you this annoying step in one way that everyone can understand because lots of YouTubers that have done this tutorial on have not explained to you properly what you have to do. They've explained it so in a, such a bad manner that you can barely understand properly. Let me tell you, because there is a specific order in which you are supposed to follow those steps. There is a specific order indeed. And if you don't follow the correct order, it won't work. Now, uh, I believe that, yes, the first time I launched, I just simply had to reinstall God of Warfare 2. And then I had to uh, add the mods from this section onto over here and apply them. I had to apply these mods, then click the launch button after I selected the mods I need to apply. After that, obviously what would happen is I'd get the crypt-based DLL inside the the game's directory over here, the clip-based DLL, which I'd have to delete afterwards. There's a bit of a thing here. 
because you get the crypt based DLL as soon as you launch the game now sometimes in the past I did this I deleted the crypt based DLL while launching the game at the same time which would cause the game not to launch anymore which would be bad you gotta make sure you you let the game crash so after it crashes and gives you the crypt based DLL you just delete the crypt based DLL file from the folder over here many people have said that yes it is required to delete the crypt based DLL but except ignore all of these people that just copied one another tutorial and then all made their own video of the tutorial that it was just a repeated tutorial over and over again on all of the freaking people because they couldn't come up with any other tutorial there we go let me explain this to you properly the first time you run Gun Warfare 2 with Moaz and launch the game it will give you the creep base error let the game crash after you give you the creep base error and then after it crashed what you have to do is oh yeah 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 all right so what you have to do is it doesn't matter whether or not you've already done this this step has to be done only one time but you have to do it at this specific time that i'm mentioning right here after the game crashed and gave you the creep base error that you delete from the garden warfare 2 folder you gotta make sure you go into the frosty mod manager profiles folder then you want to make sure you get the updated pvz 2 cdk uh, yes you want to make sure you get the update pvz 2 cdk file from the discord modding community of garden warfare 2 this is required to do exactly at this time because otherwise you will not be able to do it if you don't do it at the specific time that i mentioned right here guys you have to be specific on the timing with this as soon as it crashes afterwards you just go in this folder get the file from frosty mod manage from from the discord community called pvz2 cdk updated this one over here which should have 4380 kilobytes um then put it in the frosty mod manager folder over here in the profiles in the profiles folder of frosty mod manager then only then uh, only then you have to reapply the mods again on the garden warfare 2 mod and the second time you did this um well yeah frosty mod manager should launch it but, but i think wait no i'm sorry if i'm recording now but frosty mod manager would launch the game afterwards yes however the mods will not apply so you have to exit the game and then afterwards this is so stupid this i yeah, know it sucks to even explain this right now but there you go i have no choice but to explain this to you frosty fix that you get from github is required in order to apply the mods that just basically already got applied in Garden Warfare 2 but for some weird reason Frosty Mod Manager is prevented from applying them in the game so Frosty Mod Fix what Frosty Mod Fix does is essentially um, it makes those mods initialize in the game at long last and it is the only thing that gets the mods to work so once you apply the mods in the Frosty Mod Manager the, the mods will not take effect instantly you have to launch Frosty Fix as well in order for the mods to work I hope I explain this properly because it's really hard to explain after all but you need to be specific on the timing and you did not forget this is important but the stupid Gun Warfare 2 CDK file is everything at this point without it you cannot get the games to properly you cannot get the Frosty Mod Manager will just crash without that yeah you just need it and you need to make sure you do this every single time for the for it also prevents the creep based DLL file to to get itself on anymore which means the game would launch with easy anti-cheat on without any problems and with mods on guys did i explain this properly i know i probably didn't have to put so many details into this but i just wanted to understand the steps i would show you right now but i'm just <laughs> i'm just really already got it over with i don't want to show anymore but i hope this explanation was enough if not if you did something like you usually get this crash log over here that says at system io error win error delete file mod server frosty recursive and i got this error literally every single time before the process cannot access the file install chunks because it is being oh wait this wasn't the one that this wasn't no, no no i was getting another error was the other crash log must have deleted itself or something uh, it was this error that I was getting. Offset and length were out of bounds for array or count is greater than the number of elements from index to the end of the source collection. I'm no expert in what the fuck this message is meant to say, but 
I know for certain that it was because I didn't have the updated PV2 CDK over here already like I should have. So once again, you gotta make sure you do this after the first time you install the mods and get a clip base file. You gotta make sure you do this every single time. If you were to reinstall the game, you still have to reapply the the gun, the Plants vs Zombies 2 CDK file. I don't know why it's called Plants vs Zombies 2. It should be called Gun Warfare 2. But uh, anyways, yeah, Plants vs Zombies 2 CDK file and paste in the profile folder every single time you would start off new over there. But yeah, once you do that, the clip base will no longer appear anymore. And as a matter of fact, you can you can finally mod the game as normally. And you will no longer be getting any more issues either. So you can just keep applying and reapplying mods how many times you want. And it won't cause you any more issues at all. Because once the clip base issue has been solved, thanks to the CDK of Gun Warfare 2 updated, well, there is literally nothing that's stopping you from keep modding this game, which is perfect. Hot long last. God damn, that step was so hard to figure out, bro. And I should have known about that already, like, seriously. It is all because all of these times I thought I was keeping on something else. I thought there was, like, something wrong with my game. I, I messed up somewhere big times and my game would just be completely broken and unable to be repaired. But that's not the case because when I load it normally, it always would load my data properly. And even with mods, as you can see, it still loads my data properly with no problem. And with the mods applied. Now, like I mentioned, some of the mods do not work, no matter how hard you try. So guys, it looks like there is a more effective solution to this, to make absolutely everything work again like it used to before in the older version. This requires to revert back to an older version, and apparently this requirement is required for pretty much a lot of the mods to be working anymore. There, is a lot, there are lots of mods that don't work in Gun Warfare anymore. Lots of which, well, it doesn't really tell you which mods don't work. You have to figure it out on your own, pretty much. But I'm gonna tell you right now, since I figured out at least some of them did not work, so I'll tell you which ones didn't. But all of these mods over here that you see on this list have been applied in the game right now, and they all work. Ability Sandbox version 1.2 still works. Private Play Remastered and PPR Cast vs. Dino still added the latest version and it works. Sunset Wall Knock Heal still works. There is one that I used to keep using, but used to keep, used to keep using, um, that I kept using before, called Garden Warfare 2 Revamped. However, that one literally, yeah, this one, Garden Warfare 2 Revamped. This one makes the game crash and does not work anymore, which is unfortunate. So I cannot make the revamp one work. The one that would make everything look revamped around. That one does not work, I repeat. It's sadly too outdated for this version. It causes the game to crash. I don't know why. It's just simply replace of textures around. But it just does not work with this game version. Maybe some newer ones do. Like the Sunset one I used didn't seem to cause any trouble. Some do, some do not. Um, the, uh, apparently the customization mods, I don't think these ones have any issue, like Rainbow Disco Champ for new flags, Plants and Zombies, Heroes, Supper Brains, no All-Star Screen Shake, these ones usually work, no, nothing wrong with these ones. Though this one, like Gun Warfare 2 revamp, did not work. The Casus Diners work, Ability Sandbox worked, and... Ah, uh, this one... I'm not sure if this one would work. This, I didn't add this one. I just wanted to add this one, but I couldn't get it to work for some reason. I mean, I'm not sure. I assume this one crashes the game as well, so I removed it pretty much right now. I should add that back because I need it. Woo, woo, woo. Oh goodness, I'm so happy that it's finally playable right now. I've been missing this game for a lot of time, like, for a long time. Ever since I was unable to return to the God of Warfare 2 mod series and continue. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? Is my microphone close enough to my mouth? It appears that my 
that it's a bit far away from my mouth, but you should be able to hear what I'm saying. The headphone microphone is usually reliable. Uh. Yeah, I'm missing on so many mods right now because I, I only applied a bunch of them. And now that I can confirm it works, I believe I can add a bit more at least. So what are you planning to do now, New Glory, that you finally return to Ghana and work for two months after such a... Uh, after such a ex exhausting time that you've been given once this update was released? Yeah, I know. I am planning to continue the series, obviously. I've been planning to have a little fun over here on our own... Uh, uh, on a, what, <laughs> well, to... Um, just some single player match something. I want to play this a bit on the easy anti cheat version. After all, I don't like the fact that. Uh, hear me out, but this. I put a lot of emphasis on the trainer itself, and that trainer was very useful to me. I really want to make that trainer work again. Without it, I just can't get God mode anymore. I can't get invincibility, and trust me, there isn't a single mod on Nexus or on the Discord modding community. And that's about infinite HP. They don't want to release that. Not even with multiplayer luck. It does not. They don't. Ouch! Would that hurt so much? I'm playing on crazy difficulty. Why not? Oh, that's why it hurts so much. Okay. Jesus, that rose over there hurts me for 20 damage. Ouchies. For you. Well, I can still pull off a shadow that if he wasn't around the corner. Take this rose. I will not lose. Ouch. <laughs> So it was probably the girl charm or something. She's reviving me. <laughs> you gotta not rem remember they can still do that. <laughs> Good job, Rose, but you forget I'm on the zombies team. Okay, no, don't go to fight. Wait, hey. Okay, that's it. I got her, but I literally died at the same time. Uh, right, where was I at? Um, so I was going to say, how will you go now that I have returned? So I'm on this version right now, obviously, on the anti cheat one. <laughs> there really isn't many mods that I can make work on this one, so it's really awful at this point, to say the least. Um, I want to see maybe a couple of easygoing matches against weeds and stuff. <laughs> After all, I don't want to keep... Why against Wizzling? <laughs> you can't just fight against Pagan. They usually... <laughs> they can laser you down pretty quick. But I can. However, I don't want to bother. Because I still want to have the infinite HP on. That the trainer has. And I can't get the trainer to work with this version anymore. Man, if only the guy that made the trainer would return. The Garden Warfare 2 trainer over here is unable to work with the anti-cheat version. I don't even know if I should run this anymore, just in case something picks up and this is not allowed anymore. Normally you'd place this and it'll make you invisible, invincible. But as you can see, that did not happen. It did not make me invincible, so clearly... The Garden Warfare 2 trainer is out of options and does not work anymore. I actually really require this trainer, you know, to make most of the things in this series work. This trainer gives me God mode infinite HP, which is exactly what I need. But are we getting ourselves through plenty of crazy scenarios that would otherwise be, let's just say, kind of impossible without infinite HP? So I need the infinite HP to work. But yeah, as of now though, I guess we could say I'm planning to work out a bit without that feature, without the trainer. However, just for a bit and then... I have no more choice. I have to revert to the old version back. I mean, supposedly, I think... I don't have confirmation, actually, which is fucked up. I mean, if I revert to the old version, will GKNX trainer... Will will, will the Plants vs. Zombies Gun Warfare 2 trainer work if I revert back to an older version? 
That's my question because I don't want to waste my time and it wouldn't even work. Because I know that ever since they updated the Gun Warfare 2, it wouldn't work. But if you downgrade to another version, which is possible to do apparently, and I pretty much learned how to do it, but I wasn't able to successfully pull it off yet. But next time I will be able to. Um, so yeah, that should just make the the game be able the trainer pick up on the game once again. That's if the trainer isn't related to online features. I don't know if uh, maybe it needs them because uh, yes, I did. Did I mention uh, uh, it's practically an offline mod? Reverting back to an old version of Gun Warfare 2 mods is also meaning going entirely offline, pretty much. Meaning that you aren't able to access online features. From what I've learned, the profile cannot be imported to the old version either. So, you'll be starting off with zero. So you, you cannot... Is that right? Uh, if, you if you revert back to an old version with the offline mod on, you are unable to get your profile anymore to load into the game. Which is a bit unfortunate because I wanted to still load the profile with the old version. And from what I've learned, that is not possible. Toxic Champ reviving. Nah, bro, you not. <laughs> um, yeah. So once we revert back to the old version, uh, I... I don't know, it's, it's a bit problematic because I... Uh, will I be reverting back to zero stats and everything locked again? I really don't want that because I've uh, unlocked everything here already and I need all of the stuff. Oh jeez, okay. Hopefully that shouldn't be the case. Oh my god, it hurts. Can I kill him? Great. I, just, I can still spam the abilities over here, so it's good. At the very least, I can do that. So I wanted to make sure I run some easygoing mods over here, just to make sure that I can get anywhere. I don't want to go with boss mods or anything like that yet, because... I think if I did, it would obviously result in uh, crashing, maybe? Because most of them might not be working with this version. I didn't do that yet. There's still many mods that I could test out to see which one work or not on this version, but... I would really rather revert to the old version already, so we can we can have everything back on working again. Right, guys? Does it... Yeah. Though the profile... I lose... I don't lose the profile, I mean, but... Or maybe, wait... There is no progression saving on the offline mod, so if I revert to an older version... No, how will it work? The progress won't save anymore, which means I'll start from zero progression, which means if I play, but I do progress, the progress never saves, and I'll be stuck, like, in a version that never saves any progress you make, because that's a bit fucked up, like, we're still making some progress over here, and we're still wanting to save, don't we? But apparently that progress cannot save while you're offline, and I don't know, you don't get access to upgrades, you don't get, s you, you get access to customizations or not, uh, and I think a lot of characters are already customized, I'll have to customize again, which is a bit problematic because I have to pick up on the customizations I have over here. But there's no problem, I guess I can do that. Hey Ah, oh, yeah. It is still a relief to know that it all works again. However, I'm gonna repeat myself though. I still want that trainer. That was the only thing that would allow you to get infinite HP to work. And I only need it because there's no other mod out there that allows you to get infinite HP. And it's very unfortunate. If we had such a mod, guys, we could finally get infinite HP mod working on single player, but I can't. Chochi. 
Is this really you in your glory? No, what do you mean is this really me? Do you not see me? I'm here. I'm right here, alive. Uh, day, year 2024-77. Yep, I'm definitely here. <laughs> and I, seriously, I couldn't be more happy that I'm here right now. In Gundam Warfare 2 mods, it's still kicking in. Like this. No. <laughs> Obviously, the anti-cheat has still ruined lots of the mods that I wish it never got ruined. <sighs> ah, but why? Why did he have to be the trainer? Obviously, that trainer is meant to specific version only at this point. It won't work anymore until I don't use the trainer on an older version. The question still remains: Will the trainer be working if I use it on a working on a? On an older version on offline mode, or would it not work? Who knows, Neil Glory? Has anyone been able to confirm that yet? Is that, in fact, as a matter of fact, does anyone else use that trainer beside me? Uh, am I the only one who makes use of that trainer? Yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. Now that I finally managed to do this, it's a huge, it's a colossal, it's a lifetime relief. Um, so yeah, it's official to me that I can finally mod things again. And there wouldn't be any more issues for as long as I do the PVZ to CDK properly over there. If at any point anything would stop working and would run the roll, you know exactly that that would be fucked. But that's not the case. From as you can see, we clearly just... Missed on one single step, which was enough to never make it work. And that was the only thing I was over there. I had thought it something more serious, which is why I kept saying to myself that that game just keeps preventing me from launching once, but it wasn't. The only thing that was over there was I skipped on that step, and that was it. Yeah, I really can't believe that that was it. And I thought that the, the, the well, there was more than that. I guess we're making too much of this I don't know how much patience you people had after this, but I clearly didn't have enough patience to think it properly sometimes. And patience is very important. Once you lose patience, it's really bad. And so to say, I've lost my patience already plenty of times to say I'm losing my patience permanently at this point. Saying this. I never wanted this to happen. That's because of the dirty scumbags that pissed off EA somehow and went in online PvP with their mods. I never had to suffer for this because I never did anything wrong in this game. I always went single player with my mods like you saw in my videos. I always enjoyed playing in a lot of crazy ways. I never did anything wrong. But yet I still have to suffer for it because of the annoying ones that pissed off EA in online pvp with their hacks because of them this has to happen <laughs> i said this word i don't know anymore <laughs> it's really awful that it comes down like that and we don't feel sorry out of um, at all <laughs> i don't think so my guy i don't think so Mm -hmm. Imagine if at some point this gets ruined even further, modding will be straight up impossible anymore. Like it's already pretty much impossible as it is. If it gets ruined any bit more further than this, there won't be possibility in modding anymore. Except for if you revert back to another version. Gargantua Prime. I thought I'm getting poisoned by the weed over there. Ah, Rose. Ooh, wipe. That one hit her right in the head. <laughs> Uh, 
It's been a, such a long time, an outrageously long time since I was last able to experience this. Left for Plants and Zombies series has continued because of this. And we've had a lot of fun with Left for Plants and Zombies, but you, you still know that you understand why I continued the series, right? It is because I couldn't make the Garden Warfare 2 series work. That couldn't have been the only reason, but you clearly wanted to come back to it. But it, because I had no other alternative. But obviously, I would say that Garden Warfare 2 mods has to be a more worth it series than Left 4 Pants and Zombies at this point. Don't tell us you're discontinuing Left 4 Pants and Zombies again, Ludoni. For a while, I should be. Now that I'm back on this, I really want to just. Just screw off Left 4 Pants and Zombies already. I want. I want Garden Warfare 2 mods back. I want Plants and Zombies fighting together in Garden Warfare 2 back. Like how it should be. This is what I want here. I don't want a cheap ass fake replica of Garden Warfare 2 inside Left 4 Plants and Zombies. I never wanted that. It was how I had to be stuck with. It was never the greatest, I admit. Nor was it ever flawless. It was just something that, let's just say, worked out for a while. And it was well, still happy by the end of the day. Well, Left 4 Dead 2 is still Left 4 Dead 2 by the end of the day. It's not Plants vs. Zombies. Even if I modded it to be like Plants and Zombies. There's always going to be a certain feeling over there that I'm n not getting over here. Oh wait, with maybe the other way around. There's always going to be a feeling here in Gun Warfare 2 that I'm not getting in Left 4 Plants and Zombies. That's because in Left 4 Plants and Zombies I'm only limited to use the same things over and over again. While over here I have a lot more freedom to use more stuff than we normally use. Plus, this is a dedicated community that is only for plants and zombies. Compared to me in Left 4 Plants and Zombies, which there was just like one person that was dedicated to making mods for plants and zombies in style for the two. I've been through a lot with this series, guys. If you all watch my videos on Gun Work for two months, you'd see exactly how many things we've, we've been through over here. And to come down to this point like this is just... It's pitiful. It's annoying. It's d dream crushing. It's everything. I just can't believe that. I'm left so out of options by this. It's the point where I can't even follow the steps properly to apply the mods anymore. This just sucks. I was like panicked for so many days straight that there's just no way to make a run anymore. When you are telling me I had to just simply put that stupid file inside Frosty Mod Manager folder and that's it? I don't really man. I'm the latest Frosty Mod Manager. Which thankfully still works and there's no problem with it. Well, that should do it for the explanation. I hope from here on now my videos was, will resume recording properly because I don't want to have any incidents and have loose of videos or anything like that. If I'm now going to continue this series, we need to be planifying on how to further save it. We are saving this series after and we are going to continue it. And I don't want it to be made lamer right now just because of the easy anti cheat topic. I want it to still be awesome. I want it to still make a lot of things happen. So I really hope we're still going to be able to make that. Heck, even if, you know, it's going to happen naturally, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, good thing that is the anti champ they did not prevent mods entirely. But still, um, it did ruin most of them. Only the ability sandbox where private player Master Sunset will not use team swap. The team swap also works, which is a relief. If that mod over there didn't work, you could say I'd give up on the entire series because I 
desperately require the team swap mod. I must be a plant on the zombie team and the zombie on the plants team. I just must. Rainbow this one, new flags. That is the most important mod out of all. Without that mod, I'd not be able to continue the series anymore. Without the team swap. The team swap is the... the out of all the mods, the team swap is the most important mods. Yeah, you probably know that already. I just can't make do without it. Because then we'll not be fighting together with how we won. Yeah, the cheese hurts. Uh. Yeah, we have this. I'm just fighting endlessly right now in the backyard of Battleground while I'm explaining my stuff. We'll be doing a wide variety of activities later. So right now, I still like doing this, so... Yeah, you know what? How about we keep fighting working in the backyard of Battleground for more? Yeah, exactly. We'll do just that. I just want Rose not to goatify me or anything. Because I still hate goatify the most. Like this, uh... I still wish goatify was removed. Hey, why? how about you guys? Um, I Instead of the easy anti-cheat updates... What would it be like if we would have gotten um, just an update that removes Rose's ability to goatify? Yeah, that would have been the perfect update for them. would be still like, that would make Gun Warfare 2 better, fine. <laughs> Instead of wasting time with easy anti chowba you would have just uh, removed Rose's goatify ability. Yeah, exactly. And obviously I placed on number one, most obnoxious ability to spam. Because it turns you into a goat. And goats are annoying. <laughs> Yeah, why are goats so annoying in Garden Warfare 2? Well, because they are. I hate goats. <laughs> I don't want to be a goat. So fucking bros is goatify. It's the worst. <laughs> you have trauma of getting goatified. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ever since I saw her be able to snipe with goatify from long range, I was terrified for life. <laughs> Ouchie! What the f... And that gets you, dude. What? Start to change character. <laughs> ah, my customizations are also back. Yes. What a relief. Yeah, I wish I could get the Gun of Warfare 2 revamp mod to still work on this, but... Guess not. What do you think you're doing? Wait a second, don't. I will use Peer Shield. What the fuck? Hey! Why she's going to find me again? What? I give the hits. All right, the coffin zombie stole the kill. Oh yeah, zombies are shooting at my shield. If they see it, for some reason. The shield doesn't appear to be by the zombie team. The pill shield gets shot by the zombies. I think I still have the upgrades applied, obviously. I Gotcha! Finally, and now that I finished uploading pretty much all of the Left 4 Pants and Zombies videos, uh, I have a couple more left actually. Great timing, we should be able to return to Garden Warfare 2 mods. However, uh, I need to settle a bit more things before I can return successfully here. Uh, because right now this isn't much of a return if I can't know what I'm doing next here. I mean, I already know, but... Whatever. Oh, cheese! No, she's back! But, oh, oh, And, like, she came back right after a little bit. Well, I know, because um, after you revive me, you'll also go to find me. I don't think so. I... You can, how about for once, uh, you quit go to find. Uh. What the... I got her once. <laughs> 
Like, this is how hard it is to play without the trainer. Hey, we could at least revert back to easy difficulty at least, but good thing I am not pussycatty and I don't do that. What? I'm actually staying on crazy difficulty even when I'm not using the trainer. Well, I guess I'm just used to crazy difficulty, what do you want? But I know the only reason I stick to crazy difficulty was because I had a trainer, but... Yeah, right now it's making up things a bit hard, just a bit maybe. I'm still in backyard battleground, it's not that hard. No, the boss is hit a lot of damage. Right, but can we just stun him? The stun doesn't even work on him. Don't give to Nah, let's just have him do that so he wastes his ability. Yeah, do it twice. But the torture is so easy to handle because you can just get close to him and then he stops doing the close range attack and then gives me that time okay. I'm good. Alright, we can go and kill some party plants. Oh, we should have started off with Gatling free for a swift Gochi, hello there. No, no, no. Ah, that cactus is easy to take on. Oh, very easy. Take this uh, far future cactus. Far future of future cameras. <laughs> ah, I saw how much I miss the gun and warfare 2 variety. I simply the best. This is a series for life, fellas. You already know this has to thrive for generations and generations to come. Swagus uh, I can't believe I'm saying this but to be honest with you I believe that the Gun Warfare 2 series uh, modded series is actually better than PvZ Dolan no way you're saying that New Glory I thought you liked PvZ Dolan better than Gun Warfare 2 but what this series has done with Plants and what I've done with this series on Plants and Zombies like, it was more amazing than anything I'd do in PvZ The Run, as a matter of fact. So yeah, I think this series is overall a lot more better than PvZ The Run. Now you can see why I was so desperate to, to make this series be able to work again with mods. Oh my gosh! Uh, and he got... Yeah! That is some good team up over there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> my, my teammate died, though. I have lots of doctor heals. I can spam them for life if you want. There's no problem. So, top it all off. I can also spam the sticker shop. How many stickers I want. Oh, <coughs> <laughs> Uh, there was always times where I just wish I could have just revert back to the old version and that's it. But apparently it ain't that easy yet. Well, I never wanted this to be mixed up with online. I just wanted this to have fun for myself like I always do. Only because it gotta be mixed up with that online shit. It gets updated and ruined. Yeah, it's not fair. That's how the game was made. Yeah. Well, Rose, you keep coming back a bit too often. Like this. Wait, Rosie's spawn rate in, in the backyard battleground is a bit insane if you ask me. She spawns more than any other plant hero. Which you fool? Of course you cannot. Yeah. 
I actually cannot shoot me fast this you. Okay, I can whoop G. One HP. No woof! <laughs> Hold on a lot more quicker right now that we don't uh <coughs> Ah, yesterday has made me really sick, I'm sorry. What the uh, new consent two of them? That's a fair. <laughs> mm. I hate aiming with certain classes because like it doesn't feel like now when I have to charge and hold it's a main it tends to miss a lot. Damn though. <laughs> that was zero damage on me over there? I guess the pierce shield really did very last all the damage. <coughs> Imagine that the the rainbow pierce shield does not uh, does not actually get targeted by the zombies. <laughs> Only the normal pierce shield does. The zombies on my team know that I'm by their side with this pierce shield. Now I'm obviously have to maybe readjust my mouse a bit. I was already adjusted pretty good to be honest. Now they are not thinking about it. Negative is that good as how it was before. I kept having more mouse adjustments over time and I'm not sure I made the best one. Oh, that boy, don't. The progression is saving over here, which is, you can see the tackle symbol. <coughs> Back at zombie. You uh, blocked my aim. Slow down. And then <laughs> he gets stunned as you can see. Boom. Don't shoot me Gatling please. Oh, gee. My PC has blocked you. Ouch, again, no, another one. That is a lot of damage. Hey, Gats. A vanquished plant. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't put my PS down. I does that every time I'm getting the ball form. Ow, what the flick are you doing? The spam of the group on the chamber too. Uh, what? That shot me really fast over there. Mm. 
Go and incite all the best of all citrons to play. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, but it actually is the best when I get infinite ammunition. <laughs> yeah, because of the trainer, I can't get infinite ammunition. Oh, it's so much worse right now. I didn't even include the reload upgrade for it. I don't want to play the Scytron like this. I want infinite ammo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the Scytron needs infinite ammo. Uh, the basic ones didn't have infinite ammo because they had overheat weapons, but <laughs> these ones did. Wait, wait. I didn't include any more backyard spawn modifiers either. Hey, I'm wondering whether it would work. This is an anti version. Ouchie. <coughs> King, this boss over here should allow me to get iron mode. Quit being distracted with me. Go and attack the boss. Let's put down the peace shield. Then... Can I get a boss to come over here while I have iron mode or not? I guess not. What am I doing over there? Oh, I want the revamped lighting back. <laughs> yeah, I know. The the normal revamp lighting for the Garden Warfare 2 is just not as great. Oops. I managed to go point the zombies. You know. Ah, right in time. Jeez. I think uh, she's a bit stuck. No, what? Uh, whoa, right. Solar flower queen, you're in. I, I guess she's really stuck over there. Whoops. Oh, God. Aha, I have a scientist. Yeah, I saved my life with his HP beam. Alright, whoops. Uh, scientist. I can't see. Move. Oh, I didn't get a kill. I mean, I'm not. My meter is not filled up. Ouch! We killed by the mini Gatling P. Forgot that was even. When did that get placed over there? <laughs> All right, let's go party center and then. Can we make a vow not to discontinue this series again? Well, wait, when did I ever discontinue this series? I don't know, but I still kept telling to myself that there would have been plenty of days when I could have been recording this and I didn't. I mean, of course, the days in which I have recorded, it's good, but what about the days in which I have not recorded this? Yeah, anybody. But you have no possibility because you got to also stop uploading. That was the problem? Yeah. Still, I could have found ways, no? Maybe. To think this game was around ever since year 2019, or actually for much longer than that, but... And I couldn't get plays like this earlier. 
Yeah, maybe sometimes, well, yeah, it wasn't always possible, I guess. Well, what do you mean? Fair enough, I guess. I mean, we're both side. <laughs> but I'm the dominant one, because I'm by the zombie team. Um, I think I'm gonna overall get pretty bored by being in backyard battleground too much. <laughs> Woofy Yeah, maybe my mood just got trashed very badly when I when the anti cheats came out. <laughs> Toxic site one. To be honest, I didn't have any more motivation to do Hero Fighter X either because of this. I think that now we're finally able to resume this. My determination for Hero Fighter X is also back. To record, I mean. Would you can... Well, this couldn't have died any quicker. Emer zombie bosses support to spawn over there. <coughs> well, I can deal maximum damage, so nothing stops me. <coughs> I can see the champer. Get on bottles. Actually, that does not work like an engineer stun grenade. Ouch. Uh. <coughs> Hello. Got him. Well, we could go and target the bosses only at this point. Wait. Hey. Yeah, sure. <coughs> well, the cops are definitely related to the stress I had to be through yesterday, sorry. You get nervous cops? Stress coughs, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, you burn. Nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, that's all of them. No more sightings. My gestures are still on, right? Oh, my, my. oh yeah, I haven't tried using the gestures. Upgrades are still on, right? They never like... No. Yeah, uh, maybe I should bring back the gesture restriction removal. <laughs> I gotta confirm if it still works, because... Yeah, I'm gonna confirm if a lot of mods still work on this version, but it probably won't matter for too long because I'm gonna one revert back to old version if possible. Because if it's not, there's a lot of things we won't be able to do anymore if I don't revert to the old version. And by a lot, I mean way too many things. Ouchie.
that go to oh, what it's no of uh, thick oh uh, you got over to the welder <coughs> oh no why did you focus on me How does this do more damage than from long range? Um, bad? Uh, no, oh no. Well, good thing you stopped over there. I was gonna get my HP melted again. <laughs> Gotifying potted plants. Still possible. Oh, when I rose, take a rose. Ah, there you go. We have to get you back for gotifying me as well. No matter, like this. I said, you think you can stop me? I'm going inside. Oh, maybe we should stop killing all of them. I mean, I'm gonna need some to get inside the base. I remember there was a spot where you'd be safe if you were on, but oh, gee, wolf, never mind. Oh, gee. <laughs> Change character, Druid Rose. I'm a bit nervous that my video is recording properly. Can I just check? Oh, I forgot. Must be worth next to uh, real tech high definition because you couldn't hear the game in the. Obviously, yes. I have no more. I had no time to think about it. Sorry. I mean, you couldn't hear the game sounds. But I can't hear anything. Hey, is my game usually supposed to be this silent, or is my headphones getting trashed? Oh, jeez. Okay. Right, that, that still works in the bridge, all my HP. Where did my face cam go? I have two lines of Wi Fi only. Um, yes, the seconds we need to fix stuff up. Ah, okay, maybe the game volume. Um, I can't hear sounds after I did that, weird enough. Ah. No, my headphones are trash, I can't hear anything. I can't hear. I did the change so I can so you can all I changed the real tech high definition. So you can hear the game of sounds. Where is VoIP volume? Uh, 
Okay, it's fixed. 